Esports facilities can relate to many things. Most notable esports facilities are esports arenas and centers built around the world. Gaming houses owned by top gaming organizations can also be regarded as esports facilities. In these type of gaming houses, there are many different spaces used for content creation, training, meetings, and casting, just to name a few. A dedicated space for esports can be regarded as an esports facility, and in Kajani University of Applied Sciences, we have two different types of esports facilities the esports classroom and the esports laboratory. We will explain their functions and purposes next. This is the esports classroom, which we use for normal classroom teaching, mostly in the esports curriculum. It acts as a home classroom for the students in our esports degrees. It is also a community hub where all the students interested in esports can gather to play games together. People from multiple nationalities can be found here playing their favorite games alone or as a group. Student-based events are organized in the classroom, such as the community evenings hosted by the Student Found Esports Club every Friday. The esports classroom has 24 gaming PCs with gaming monitors and other peripherals needed for gaming. Students can also bring their own gear. It is all plug and play and you are ready to game. In the darkest corners of our university, you can find the eSports lab where we have conducted tests for eSports players. Testing and analyzing services can relate to eye movement, accuracy, reaction time, stress control, and communication. Previously, we've used belts that monitor heartbeat and followed the heart rate in stressful situations. Some positions are reserved for players and one place for the coach or the researcher, whoever might be observing. Testing can be done for individuals or for teams. Esports testing is something that has not been widely researched yet. We hope to someday find results for intriguing questions regarding esports players by using in-game testing. 